Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's a very wonderful sort of evening, very breezy, cool. Since yesterday at night time, we're having some sort of sandstorm and it's very breezy night and night time is very, very enjoyable. The best part why I like breezy uh, nights or day rather, uh, because you can enjoy your fragrances much better. It really projects, you can smell fragrance far away from you if someone is applying something nice. Even they are wearing something not nice, you can still detect it. But today I am wearing a fragrance that is very close to my heart and I'm not wearing the one that is the real thing. I'm wearing something that is an impression of that fragrance. That fragrance would be the impression original one is MFK Grand Soir. This fragrance is my top favorite uh, Maison Francis Kirkshawn creation at this moment. I really really love this fragrance and something about this fragrance really, if you see my channel i gave it perfect 10 and i was since then i sniffed it i got the sample from usb page i think uh, i wanted to buy that fragrance it's a uh, relatively cheaper than the let's say the other mfk like baccarat rouge and stuff but uh, it's still pretty expensive for it's about if you do 100 ml conversion it's about 200 dollars so it's not like i don't buy it i can but my reality is this i have a lot of fragrances that i ordered a lot of things i want and i'm still pretty much in designer game i'm still getting a lot of samples so if i spend on that one i cannot buy at least two three other fragrances so anyway uh, long story short i got another solution i ordered it through usb and this is alexandria fragrances impression of it and this fragrance is called paris night name is written by brother uh, ifran he wrote down the name so this is a 60 ml bottle and i would like to thank both brother ifran and both brother Hani Hafez for being so nice to me. Every time I contact them, they have been very kind. So it's like this, okay? Uh, you actually meet your craving by purchasing something that you pay much less, but you get a lot more. That is the kind of fragrance that we're about to review. Paris Night. Uh, so first of all, you just remember one thing. If you do not enjoy, happen to enjoy amber, vanilla kind of spices, you're not gonna enjoy this fragrance or Grand Soir or anything of that uh, category i'm going to show you a few other fragrances okay as example how when i explain to you what this fragrance smells like second thing is it's an impression you do not expect 100 percent exact clone or exact quality then you will be kind of it will be dumb thing right so remember those points so here you go the presentation typical box just like the all the rest of them i've shown you before but i'm just showing you for this video you just open it like that the box bottle stays inside Pretty nice. I mean, I really like this presentation for the price point. You cannot ask for more. They have the logo, the side. They say perfume extract at the back. Some more information. They described it. Okay, and here it says um, handcrafted in California, 60 ml, two fluid ounces. So this box, the all standard box. I haven't seen anything different. It's all the same coloration. No problem. And these fragrances go for 30 ml, 45 dollars, and. Uh, big 60 ml i think it's about 55 dollars could be 60 dollars as well depending on where you buy it the bottle is pretty much a very simplistic sort of uh, decan bottle sort of and it's like a decan bottle there's nothing uh, to hide and the bottle looks okay nothing special you can see the juice it's kind of yellowish it says the name 60 ml and the cap it's kind of like uh, tall and it's snug fit you can pick it up easily uh, light cap sprayer is okay these sprayers are not actually my favorites because these are decan bottles, so the consistency is not there. Some of them spray really well, big distribution, some of them get stuck once in a while. So I'm not blaming, of course, <laughs> for that, but I never have problems spraying. But it's not really smooth spray like Dior or some other Creed fragrances. So I'm wearing it here. Dry down is here. It's pretty much a beast, but let me show you the spray and let me talk about the top note, okay? Uh, it says, it's like, a but other some of my other Alexandria, I bought another one I'll show you in a few days. That would be actually uh, this one. Gourmand Kiss. Uh, Kyle Stevens want to know about this one. I'll review this very soon, brother. Okay, this is a atomic fragrance also. So uh, let's talk about this one. So as I was saying, let me show you some fragrances. Today, I'm going to be a little bit different. You uh, guys perhaps noticed that I have been having this uh, craving for some of these more realistic fragrances, more natural smelling fragrances like Tom Ford and some niche fragrances. And I'm digging the note of amber and rose, especially Thai rose, Bulgarian rose. That smells natural. And today I had to sit up with one of my brothers, uh, Brother Ashfaq. He even brought some natural oils and he gifted me these two. These are very precious, all uh, like real perfume oil and others, okay? So I am just grateful that I had a session with him, two, three hours of chit chat. I learned a lot from him and it's the most beautiful thing about the journey that you meet nice people and learn a lot from them. 
So apart from Grand Soir, I mean this category, there is also uh, Costume National Soul, that fragrance, similar. And there's Replica House by the Fireplace. And then there's Tom Ford Amber Absolute, okay. Then as well as like Armani Stronger with you, this fragrance, I have a full bottle of this fragrance. It's a little bit sweet, but they all have this common sort of DNA, Ambre Noir by Isemiake. So it's kind of like gourmand, a smoky, uh, vanilla and amber. So a little bit of spices, it's just to spice things a little bit up. They have the differences, but pretty much they do the same thing. It's like a gourmand. You smell uh, this DNA, you know, like these are for evening time, kind of cold weather. Match your noses, they can appreciate Grand Soir. So let's look into the Paris night. So the Paris night opens up very first few seconds, let's say I would say one minute or so. It has a hint of citrus. They say the notes are here amber, balsamic, vanilla, and I think aromatic perfume extract. So these are the notes Honey Up has put here. So what I get from it is opening all these fragrances that are clones of very uh, high-end designer or niche fragrances. They always have this sort of freshness. They do not accept the old ones. Most of the other ones, they're like, uh, comes to you as fresher take on the original one. Let's say this is Grand Soir, right? So it's sort of like a fresher Grand Soir to my nose, humble opinion. But then very soon you start detecting, if you know Grand Soir, you'll be like smiling like, mm. I know this was this fragrance I know, and this is very familiar. And you start smiling like, like an idiot because you paid a, one third of the price of the real thing, one third, remember one third is the word, amount. And uh, if you convert it like to 100 ml, 200 ml, you can see that Grand Soir perhaps, it's like maybe double the price of this or triple the price. But once you get the sniff of it, whiffs of it, it's just gonna make you smile. It's that good. Okay, is it exactly 100% clone? No, nothing is 100% clone of anything. But this is striking similarities, like 90, 95%. That's how I describe how close they are. They are damn good, but not the same thing. But then for the price point, I do not complain. So I have to be realistic, I have to be fair. So what I got for it, I said yesterday in my page, I'm not gonna buy Grand Soir or some of the other expensive like Fave Delicious or um, Baccarat Rouge in a hurry. I didn't say I'm not gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy them when I can afford them. At this moment, this is what I can afford, uh, talking about my reality, and pretty much meets my craving. And that is the reason I will say thanks to Honey Hafiz. Uh, this fragrance is for people who just want a grand sword that is cheap. That's it. It's not synthetic, it smells like the real deal. The differences, I picked up two differences. One thing is it's not as intense as Grand Soir. I'll tell you this one. It's not as intense as Grand Soir. Grand Soir is a little bit more intense. If you spray this on your skin, it's going to be smoky and it's going to get stronger with time. Huh? This one, if you wear. So longevity is first thing. It's just projection. It's crazy. This fragrance will get more and more smoky in time. Okay. And it lasts on me easily somewhere between 8 to 10 hours plus any weather that is. Compared to that one, this one lasts on me pretty damn good. It lasts on me like six, seven hours, eight hours pushing. If you wear it on your clothes, you can smell it the next day. Longevity is not an issue. But projection wise, it's sort of like a lighter projection than Grand Soir. Is that a bad news? No, it's not those weak projector. This is pretty bismuth projector, okay? But the smoky, thick feeling that you get from that Grand Soir or other ones I mentioned, like Amber Absolute, one of my favorites, um, Replica. Those, those fragrances like by the fireplace, they just had little bit, they have a little bit more thickness, they have a little bit more body. This one feels like lighter. So if you feel like you're gonna be choked by Grand Soir in summer, this is something you can wear also all year round. It's, yes, it is cold weather, mild cold weather, spring slash uh, fall, but this fragrance, I believe you can wear it all year round, nighttime. Anywhere people smell this on you, you're gonna be different. You're gonna stand apart from crowd. So I would give props to Brother Hani Hafez. I understand these people, Masam Reza and him, both get a lot of hatred. I get a lot of hatred by reviewing this, but I actually am gonna tell you something. I buy my fragrances based on what I really require in my life. And this house actually, I'm gonna buy some more. I ordered something that is not being released yet. And that's gonna be keeping a secret. I asked Brother Hani Hafez, Brother, can I have that? I want it so bad. And I saw him posting it somewhere and that's not released yet. So he did send me uh, previously two other fragrances to review, which was not out yet in the market. So this is like, I feel really honored. I really feel honored. Such a humble person. He is a business owner. He doesn't need to do that for anybody. And I know maybe people will say, yeah, he's getting free promotion, whatever. He doesn't need promotion. He has huge collection. He has huge perfumes, perfumes, and people already know his fragrances. It's being talked about many forums and many groups. So if you're not a niche snob, let's say you are like, hey, you have to pay for the respect and you have to pay the cash to get the real deal. 
I respect that. No problem. If you have the real, uh, if you have the money for the real thing, go for the real thing. Definitely, original is better. But if you want a taste of it, do not get a decan. Get a full bottle of this. That is my humble request. That is the way to enjoy this fragrance. Okay, performance not an issue. Very very strong performer. You sniff it. It's like sort of like a fresher take on Grand Soir. That makes me like yeah. <laughs> uh, I like freshness in fragrances. If it's too thick, I get headache from it. But Grand Soir is such a beauty. It's like a Queen Elizabeth. You know, it's like a royalty. Okay, Grand Soir for me is a royalty. It's one of the best fragrances you can wear in Paris in the evening time. I haven't been to Paris, but I would love to someday. So this is Paris for me in a bottle, okay? Just like Grand Soir, I love them equally both, okay? Like for the price point that I paid for this, respect, love, and happiness, okay? So overall this fragrance, just like Grand Soir, I'm gonna give it 10, 10 out of 10, okay? Uh, you can definitely get a sample from somewhere. You can get them from Alexandria. You can give it a try and see the performance for yourself. Then you can decide, okay? You don't have to blind by anything, okay? That's the best part of fragrance game. You can try, then you can decide if you like it, you can buy. Absolutely beautiful fragrance, okay? Try it out, it's so lovely. It's less smoky, more sweet. That's the, that's, that's like the way, it's a sweeter, lighter version of, uh, like a citrusy version of Grand Soir. Paris Night by Alexandria Fragrances. Absolute gem here. And everything I'm getting from now on, they're gonna be like the ones I really want, like Anubis Kiss, like a Gourmand Kiss, Interplex Ray. <laughs> This is Baccarat Rouge clone, man, oh man, this fragrance, fire, fire, you know, just put more petrol in fire and it's just going to be like bigger fire. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a very nice day. I perhaps will do one more review tonight. Feeling like it. Very nice weather. So I'm happy. See you soon. Bye-bye.